Welcome to the Bluebeam Review Tutorial by Brighter Graphics. In this video, we will see how to use Tool Chest in Bluebeam Review 21. Let's see how you can use the Tool Chest and save different tools for more efficient use of your review software. After opening Bluebeam Review on your desktop, go to the Review option at the top and hover your cursor over the Profiles option to switch between your custom and built-in profiles. Review profiles offer different tool chests for your various requirements. From the panels bar at the left of your workspace, click the briefcase icon to open your tool chest panel. Here you can access different tool sets by clicking the dropdown. If you find it difficult to navigate the panels, right click in the empty area of the panel bar and click Show. Then select Tool Chest from the menu and it will pop out automatically. Or you can also press Alter plus X key to open tool chest. Let's explore different tool sets available for various use cases with built-in templates. You can also resize the icons using the scroll bar at the bottom of the tool chest panel. If you click the gear icon alongside each tool set and click the detail view, you can switch from symbol view to get a list view of your tool sets with subject, comment, and label columns adding detail to your tools. And simply click symbol from the settings to go back to a more simple symbolic view. Let's create a custom tool and save it to our tool set. Select any tool from the toolbar, for instance, a polygon tool. Now click to mark individual points to draw a polygon shape of your desired dimensions. Then from the markup toolbar at the top, set your desired fill color and line color for your polygon markup. Next, right click on your polygon markup and from the menu, hover your cursor on the add to tool chest option. Let's add it to the my tools tool set saved in this profile. Now go back to the tool chest panel and you will find your custom tool saved under My Tools. You can switch between the properties and drawing mode by double-clicking your tool symbol. In the drawing mode, it will only duplicate the markup with the same shape, dimensions, and size. In the properties mode, you can draw a markup with custom shapes and dimensions while preserving the color and other aspects it was saved with. To do so, just click to mark different anchor points to draw a custom shape with the same line and fill color. If we switch to the detail view, this column showcases comments. Let's explore what this is for. Go to the tools option in the menu bar, hover your cursor over markup and select the markup with text like a simple text box. Click and drag to draw a text box and add your desired text. Or you can choose Cloud Plus Markup that also contains a text. Now, let's set the font size to 36 and turn the text color to black. Okay, Tay. Now we will set font style to Roboto Black. Next, right click on the text box and go to the Add to Tool Chest option to save it to My Tools. Here, your text markup is saved as a custom tool with a comments column showing the text we just inserted. Now, you can simply place the text as it is in drawing mode. You can also create custom stamps with defined text and symbols by doing so. Or switch to the properties mode by double clicking the tool and creating a text box to write custom text with the same font style, color, and size. If you click the tool chest option from the top, you can add custom tool sets or export them to share with your team members or across devices. Watch our next video of this series to see how. In the settings sections, you can also set different scales for your different tool sets 
by simply calibrating the scale of your drawing. Watch our separate video to learn how to calibrate a drawing scale in Bluebeam Revu. From the tool chest dropdown, you can also enable or disable your tool sets to make your tool chest more organized and relevant to your workflow requirements. If we switch the profiles from the Review option at the top, the entire layout of Bluebeam Review will change, including your tool chest. Let's see how. Here, you can see additional tool sets that we turned disabled in our custom profile before. Let's switch back to the previous profile. All your settings will automatically roll back. This is it for today. Do not forget to watch the next video of this series to learn how to create a custom toolset in Bluebeam Review and export it to share with your team members for consistent drawing and annotation workflows across the organization. For more Bluebeam tips and tricks, stay connected with Brighter Graphics, your go-to partner for all things Bluebeam, digitizing construction since 2003.